Alrighty, today we'll be analyzing documents using document intelligence, which was previously known as form recognizer. So here, let's uh, give you a background what we'll be doing today. So we'll be using the Azure portal as well to carry out the task, as well as we'll be deploying the C sharp application, writing the code as well. In both ways, we are going to tackle this. So first things first, what is document intelligence? So document in intelligence, also known as uh, previously form recognizer, it is designed to automate data extraction from forms, handwritten notes, invoices, receipts, and many kinds of documentation, which can reduce manual data entry, and it will improve efficiency at workplace in IT especially. So here, um, the best part of uh, AI document intelligence is that it can analyze and extract information from forms and documents and identify field names and data. So let's uh, see this in action in Azure portal. So here we are in the Azure portal now. Let's search for document intelligence. Here we go, document intelligence. Next, we'll be creating entire Azure AI service that is documented intelligence from the scratch. Let's click create document intelligence. Let's choose the resource group. Resource group is where our uh, resource that is document intelligence will reside. I have um, selected the subscription. Next, um, the region. Region is the geographical location where my document intelligence will physically uh, stay. Now let's uh, give a name for our document intelligence. Now let's select the pricing tier as S0. This looks good. I'll go ahead by clicking on review and create. Let's hit the create button for the last and the final time to create document intelligence resource. Let's wait for a while till this deployment is in uh, progress. Let's, uh, it will take some time. All right. Our deployment looks uh, good it sees a uh, success now let's open one of our uh, important uh, AI document intelligence studio I'll tell you what this studio is all about let me first copy and open the link in a new tab so here we go with uh, the uh, document intelligence studio so document intelligence studio will help us to read models to analyze a document uh, with handwritten text uh, like handwritten uh, notes what we have in the sample let me show you what the sample looks like the sample is something and this one we'll be analyzing this in a short while please uh, hold on for a few moments uh, and also we'll be analyzing some uh, like um, inbuilt uh, samples which are provided by Microsoft will be also analyzing those as well so let's go ahead now yeah, there are tons of option here if you look OCR layout general documents um, there are pre-built models, uh, many more things, right? The US personal tax, tons of things. But uh, in this, uh, let's keep everything simple. You can browse this later on, document aliens and um, uh, play around. Let's uh, first go ahead by OCR and read. So here we go. Let's select the subscription. Remember in the previous step, uh, we have uh, created the uh, document intelligence uh, resource. So we need to select the same subscription and resource group where our document intelligence resides. Please uh, have a note at this. Let's uh, select uh, the subscription, the same resource group where we have selected previously and the document intelligence service. Please note we have used this name, cloud document intel in our uh, previous um, step. If I go here, I'll show you in a while. Here we go, if I look here, under the resource group, I have cloud document intel for document intelligence type. So that's why I have selected this. Please make sure whatever you create in previous step, make sure to select the subscription resource group and the resource uh, what it should be. So this looks good. Now uh, we can go ahead by clicking on the continue button. It will ask for review. Looks good. We'll click on finish. So here we go with some um, inbuilt samples here by Microsoft. So uh, we are more concerned about our own handwritten text, which is nothing uh, but this one. 
I will upload this manually from my uh, computer and see what document intelligence can do or read let's go ahead I'll select browse for files there is also option for URL I'll browse for files from my local computer let's do it let's select the handwritten note I'll click on open and here we go it uh, shows um, the sample uh, what uh, it should uh, look like there are many things like options for now let's run the analysis it will run the analysis let me close this so it has detected if you read the context paragraph to the host master there is nothing but this one to the host master see the it it is uh, it has started reading the handwritten text paragraph mercantile communication this thing private to right it has uh, technically um, detected everything whatever handwritten text is there it's right here if you look so there are many tabs here results this is the json um, the, like the code here we have the code as well so now uh, let's uh, choose another thing the inbuilt thing and uh, here is one uh, german i don't know german if you're uh, familiar about german you might be uh, you might be able to read what's uh, there here so here um, we can see uh, like there can be many languages apart from Germans how do we detect it I'll go to analyze here yeah, analyze options we have language it will optional detection it will detect if you want to detect barcodes still uh, we can check mark this uh, there are premium detection as well high resolution these things for now let's detect languages what it is there here because I don't know uh, uh, German anyhow I want to detect the language let's select on uh, save for now and uh, then uh, we can uh, definitely go ahead by clicking on the run analysis button let's run the analysis it's running the analysis it says let's wait for a while for the results and here we go again one more time if I move up so it has checked the IRS this thing um, it has converted everything in uh, like copy pasted uh, thing right we can see and uh, the interesting part is here the results if you look so the confidence and everything is there if we look so tons of data is there right and let me scroll and show you if if i go down here's we can we can see there are uh, de stands for uh, german the language code en we know for english so there are many other languages apart from german what we can see how do we know it because if i go here here es es i think is for espanol or spanish stands for so it it means i think uh, yeah, there there are more than uh, one languages what it uh, looks at the first side uh, right so we can uh, detect uh, many more things here uh, what all languages are there so now um, since we are uh, familiar about there, there are many more things if if you want to analyze this kind of barcodes and all you can again run analysis so here uh, document intelligence is given uh, these are the inbuilt things right it will um, just uh, read everything for you right um, it, it, it's very helpful right uh, everything is getting detected see the barcode is also the number has also popped up this time I believe so it's very interesting uh, to see how this functions um, now let's uh, try to build the uh, visual studio application using the code we'll be writing some code this is this was the i think uh, easy way out and this time i'll show you what we will analyze this is the code you can see let's open um, the what we are going to analyze in a new tab so here we can see one form is there some data is there uh, so let's uh, begin with visual studio by uh, writing some uh, code let's get our hands dirty in visual studio all right since we already have the code on my computer let's open the local folder and browse this so here we go with the folder ms learn it's under here let's select the folder all right here if i open the solution explorer under the live files prevailed models and finally c sharp program.cs file this is the name of the file program.cs cs stand for c sharp and here we go if we uh, uh, look here uh, this 
this is the our uh, file we need to put uh, the service endpoint and if uh, access keys as uh, usual uh, but for now uh, let's uh, do some initial uh, like uh, the terminal things we'll right click on the c sharp folder here uh, we got open terminal let's open terminal and here uh, we need to add the uh, package uh, you might not be having the package so not a problem i have uh, the code ready with me i'll be executing step by step we need to install the sdk for azure document intelligence sdk package so let's go ahead by um, running this command let's hit enter so here we go everything is going behind the scenes this looks good i think uh, we are done with the uh, sdk package uh, now here whatever code we had let's quickly delete this i'll control a and uh, select the delete uh, why i'm deleting because i already have the code the fresh one on my uh, here code for program.cs please note this is for this thing let's copy paste the entire code there so i have just copied the entire line let's go to my visual studio i'll hit control v for paste uh, this looks good the only thing what we need to change is definitely i believe let me scroll up here we have the endpoint and uh, keys here everything else uh, looks good i'll go to my azure uh, quickly let's go to azure here i'll open cloud document intel which is nothing but document intelligence what we have created previously let's open resource management here we have the keys and endpoint let's copy the key i'll open visual studio uh, please note uh, key is the bottom part endpoint is the above part please do not mix and match otherwise the program will throw error i'll hit paste the key uh, anyway looks something haphazard something like this and endpoint is simple the uh, url thing right so uh, let's go back here i'll copy the endpoint let's go to my visual studio and replace the endpoint code i'll paste control v now this looks uh, good all right uh, we can all it's always better to save the code by going to file save or i can i hit control s as well there is a shortcut key right save i'll uh, save here now here one thing to note is that please make sure uh, while we are running uh, it's there in the lab files pre-built c sharp which is this thing right anyway uh, because we have browsed this thing so it should automatically come here now uh, we need to build uh, the project i'll have written the code that is dot net build is the command we need to build the project whatever we have written this code and all right build the application in short i'll just hit enter and it's going behind the scenes see we can see the core compilation and everything so it got succeeded with warnings so warnings we can ignore we aren't uh, much um, cared about right now we need to uh, run the code because we have we are done with building right building is successful anyhow and um, we need to run the code the code is dot uh, dot net uh, run I'll anyhow uh, I just run this and before running if you uh, face any kind of problem with dot net build like uh, if dot net framework is missing you see some kind of error please download um, this um, um like uh, go to the url and download right uh, I'll, I'll also show you let me open this so if i open the url it will say dot net uh, uh, 7.2 download so you can uh, since i'm using windows i'll use uh, 64x bit this thing right depending upon your operating system you can download this if you are getting uh, error uh, while executing dot net build or anything better to download install then you can get back here again right use the dot mid build and dot it run for now since we are done with building i'll run the code and for me i have already installed this thing let's um paste it dot net run and here we go it says analyzing document this was the link right what we have uh, uh pasted 
and uh, it's it's nothing uri document it's here the link so it says analyze com complete i'll uh, this is the information i'll put everything side by side and here we go with the results it says quantum so limited which is this thing it is detected with a confidence score how much confident uh, the ai is detecting these things um, customer name is microsoft corporation so customer name here is microsoft corporation how much uh, confidence it's 0. Uh, uh, i think 91.9 percent .9 in uh, human uh, invoice how much the billing is 110 i think uh, this is 100 and 100 something and here we go with something total is 110 here we go uh, with the, that is the uh, billing i can see here so it has done the job pretty much uh, uh, very good so this is how uh, we uh, built the application right so here we go uh, like we have done the um, in the portal as well we we, we saw this few moments back here right um, using the document intelligence studio how do we do it we have um, uh, used our handwritten notes as well as as well as detected some generic uh, German as well as uh, the barcode these all things right here yeah. so let me uh, quickly brush you up what we have uh, done here uh, this is our end-to-end -end architecture diagram we have deployed uh, Azure AI document intelligence straight from the scratch we have analyzed many things today um, kind of like handwritten notes which was in um, png or pdf whatever format these are the formats basically whatever uh, it can be different things uh, we have analyzed uh, pdf um, the german thing Germ german pdf um, barcode thing right basically documents um, it helps as the name suggests ai document intelligence doc it, it is related with documents so we have uh, built the c sharp app as well from the scratch configured the keys endpoints uh, from the back end we are able to read uh, the analyze the documents as well right so i hope you found this tutorial helpful thank you so much for watching this video so let's meet in next part of this series